So, uh, Dr. Milan, what exactly is thyroid eye disease? Okay, so when you have a thyroid disorder where your thyroid blood levels are normal, abnormal, you can develop swelling behind the eye. So, the tissues which are behind our eye, which is the muscles which move the eye, as well as the fat which acts as a lubricant, these can have excess deposition of uh, inflammatory cells and they can also increase in size. And that is what causes the eyes to pop out and the eyes look more prominent. The eyelids also go wide apart, so the person looks a little scary. And because of these uh, muscles which are affected, the eye does not move well. So, the patient may also see double at times. So, it is just not related to looks, it can also affect the vis uh, vision. Correct, correct. So, in the beginning, it might just be related to basic complaints like redness, watering and so forth. As the problem increases, one might start looking abnormal, but their vision might still be okay. And in extreme cases, the muscles can grow to such extent that they might compress on the nerve and vision might drop or your eyes might come out so much that the lids are not able to blink over them and therefore you get dryness of the cornea and you can even get infection. So uh, how a person can identify that they are developing thyroid eye disease? So that like if they get to know about it early on right. and they can reach out to a doctor. So we get two types of patients. Those who already have a thyroid disorder, they are taking medications and now they start developing eye disease. Or there are patients who directly come to us first with the eye problem and then we diagnose that this is due to thyroid and then we involve the endocrinologist. The first type of patient where they are already on thyroid medications, in a majority the eyes may be normal. But as you start developing the eye disease, you might notice that there is increased redness, uh, burning sensation swelling around the eye which is more in the morning hours when you wake up because of fluid retention and gradually they might notice that the eye starts becoming prominent or it is starting to come out of the socket and that these are the early signs of thyroid eye disease. In extreme cases the eye looks very scary, the eyelids are shooting up and uh, the patient may not even be able to close the eye. So, uh, vision can start getting affected. Okay. So, these are the early signs uh, for the patient to know that I already had systemic problem. Now, probably the eye is also getting involved because it may not always happen at the same time. It may happen years after the diagnosis of uh, hyper or hypothyroidism. Okay. So, the question is if a person's thyroid levels are uh, controlled, right. are under check. So, uh, still are there any chances that person will still get this uh, thyroid eye disease? Yes. So, having a complete control of your blood thyroid levels does not uh, protect you from developing eye, eye disease. So, you might still have eye disease even though your endocrinologist is doing a good job in controlling your thyroid levels because in some people it is destined to happen. At okay. what time it will happen may be different but uh, if you are going to have it then it will affect your eye one day. So there is no harm like example if I have thyroid and I am under treatment there is no harm seeing uh, eye specialist Correct. once yeah. in a year or maybe in some Right. Treatment. We do recommend that if you are having thyroid eye disease then you should get your eyes checked yearly or a little more frequent than that maybe six monthly. Just like if you have blood sugars which are high then you get your retina checked every year. It is on the similar lines. So is it preventive? the uh, thyroid eye disease? Yes. Eye disease to a greater extent cannot be prevented or avoided but knowing that everyone doesn't develop it, you could probably uh, detect it in time if you are doing a regular checkup and that might help us in giving early treatment so that we can avoid some of its complications. Thyroid disorders affect the entire body. So, when your thyroid levels are not normal, it can have deleterious effects on your entire body from head to toe. But not all patients will develop eye problems. So, uh, some of these patients are likely to develop the eye disease. Those who have a family history, they might be more prone to develop the eye disease. Uh, and when we look at medical studies, uh, approximately uh, 20 to 30 percent of total population who has thyroid disorders might end up developing eye disease of which only 2% would be 
severe to the extent where they would need treatment. So it's a minority. So doctor, uh, my next question will be, uh, who are more likely to get thyroid eye disease? So uh, patients who have already have a family history, if your mother or father had thyroid disorder, if your sisters are having thyroid disorder, then you are more likely to get it. Uh, apart from that, uh, if you, if your blood thyroid levels are already abnormal and you are taking treatment for that, it's not mandatory that you have to have eye disease, but since you are already having a systemic thyroid disorder, you are more prone to develop the eye disease. Is uh, thyroid eye disease completely curable? Well, in most patients who develop the eye disease, uh, in around 90% of them, the eye disease is very mild, which means that apart from a little bit of burning and redness around the eye, uh, it is not going to affect their life or appearance much. This is what we call as mild thyroid eye disease. Up to 90% of patients would have mild disease where just lubrication drops might help and some baseline changes in their lifestyle would be uh, helpful. But there are patients who have moderate and severe disease where the appearance or even the vision might get affected. So those are the ones where treatment would be required. Treatment per se? Uh, treatment could either be medical or it could be surgical. So thyroid eye disease has two distinct uh, phases or we call them as the stages. So active stage is something which right from the onset lasts for up to a year. This is the period during which swelling around the eye, redness, the uh, eyelid shooting up and changes in these findings might happen over a period of one year. So it might improve, it might even worsen, it sometimes depends on the blood thyroid levels also. But after one year, this disease would become stable and beyond that point, whatever findings that are there are more likely to stay the same unless we surgically correct it. So during the first one year active phase, we do medical treatment and try and avoid future problems. But once we have crossed that one year, whatever is the residual problem has to be treated surgically. There is no medical treatment beyond one year. Okay. So what are the common myths uh, about thyroid eye disease amongst patients? Okay, uh, regarding thyroid eye disease, there are a lot of myths, uh, not only within the patient community, but also, unfortunately, some of the doctors, the eye doctors and even the endocrinologists. So one of the commonest misconception uh, uh, patients have is that uh, your blood levels have to be abnormal for you to have a eye disease. That is not true. In India, at least, there are one third patients who have normal blood levels but who might still have eye disease. So it's a little bit confusing for the patient. It's like saying that you know your blood sugar is normal but you have diabetic retinopathy. So that with diabetes that's not possible but with thyroid that is possible. So even if your blood level is normal you could still have a eye disease and your blood level might get abnormal in future. So oh. that is one of the common myths that patients have. Secondly, uh, patients feel that when your blood levels get normal, your eye findings will all reverse. In most patients, when we control their blood levels, that is having a good effect on the rest of your body. But the eye disease will take its own course. It's not that your blood levels normalization is going to affect positively on your eye disease always. In an occasional case, that miracle might happen. Oftentimes, it gets better. But it could still be independently running its own course and during that one year, patient could even worsen despite good control of the uh, blood levels. So patients often uh, confuse that, you know, my endocrinologist is saying that my blood level is normal but you are saying my eye disease is worsening because they are not related to each other. Although they are part of one disease, they can take their independent course. So. Oftentimes, after the entire one year's medical treatment, patient says that, doctor, after all this treatment, my eye is still out. That's again a misconception that your medical treatment doesn't reverse your forward protrusion of the eye. That has to be later on corrected by doing a surgery. Would you please tell us some home remedies for thyroid eye disease? For many of the issues that are happening around the eye, the patient could do certain things at home which would be helpful for them. One is uh, to always have their head end raised when they are sleeping at night. 
So this uh, typically is done not by taking extra pillows but the head end of the bed itself should be raised. So at the head end of the bed you could either place a block of wood or even a brick thickness of elevation so that the fluid retention around the eye is less and when they wake up they don't have much of uh, eye swelling. Secondly, most important is smoking. So if people who smoke have thyroid eye disease then your thyroid eye disease is going to worsen multiple folds. So you have to definitely not only stop smoking also tobacco chewing but even avoid friends around you who smoke because even the passive smoke is likely to worsen your thyroid eye disease. Okay, so uh, I heard that you have a online uh, support group for the thyroid eye disease. So many of the difficult diseases often have support groups online uh, and in India we have designed one such group. Uh, we have a website which is called thyroideyes.org. So this is basically uh, a website where you can get basic information about the eye disease typically described in a layman's language so they can understand it to understand the active phase, inactive phase and so forth and on that you can not only send request for a consultation but you can also send a request to talk to a patient. So someone who has gone through the disease or even gone through a surgical experience if a new patient wants to talk to that person just to get a hang of what what it entails to go through all this because these patients have a lot of apprehension when we tell them about surgeries. In thyroid eye disease patient often has to go multiple surgeries over the eye or both the eyes to get back their normal appearance. So this group definitely helps them to connect with other patients and these patients themselves they have gone through so much that when I approach them that would you be willing to offer this help to another patient most patients would willingly say yes and they even share their number. So what I do on this support group is uh, if a patient request comes I take permission from past patients and share their number with the previous patient so they can talk amongst themselves. So doctor telling is one thing but if another patient describes it to a patient I think the connect is better. And maybe it helps them emotionally. Yes and they probably them. explain to them in their own language maybe their day to day life issues, uh, problems and so forth. Is this a collaboration thyroid eye disease uh, dot org you said something? No it's just a designed website. Okay and it is own it is acting as a support group, a yes, forum. Where yeah, it's a forum, work. it's a support group for anyone who has thyroid eye disease or who has even someone who has been treated can be a part of it as an advisor.